Hey guys, I'm Sage Valentine and I'm back to do another review of Sleepy Hollow, this time for season 3, episode 3. So my sleepy binge continues. After this, I have to watch episode 4 and 5 and I cannot wait to watch them. But as far as episode 3 goes, it was another really good one. No complaints. And for some strange reason, like, Nelson's character was giving me, like, weird, like, Christine Stephen King's Christine vibes. The only difference was that it was a completely different story, a completely different situation. And Pandora was there in his ear, like, coaxing him to continue his Ripper rampage. But for some reason, it was really reminding me of Christine, so I'm definitely going to probably watch that this weekend, considering that this weekend is obviously Halloween. But as far as this episode goes, I mean... Damien Kindler did a great job writing this. I'm one of his fans. I love his work and his episodes that he's done on Sleepy Hollow for seasons one and two have been my faves and I think so far episode three was definitely one of my favorites. I did enjoy the explanation and incorporation of the Jack the Ripper story and how they were able to link it to this historical timeline to whereas Jack the Ripper turned out not to just be one man but it was basically all linked back to this knife that whenever a person who was weak and who felt lonely and alone somehow got hold of this knife but you know what, scratch that, I can't say they somehow got a hold of this knife because obviously Pandora had something to do with it. But with that knife came the power of strength, almost invincibility, and this unquenchable bloodthirst that caused them to kill, kill, kill without reason. Probably also because of Pandora coaxing them to continue to kill and keep on going. And in Nelson, Pandora found the perfect Patsy because really all this guy had to do was just go up to the girl and talk to her, but he was so shy and so nervous that he couldn't. But at the same time, when he was on his bloody rampage, it reminded me of different situations that have popped up in the news of young men going around. In particular, we could talk about Elliot Rogers, who was upset because the girls did not notice him, but never did we hear of any instance whereas he went up to the girls and tried to talk to them it's like he assumed and the same thing happened with Nelson all Nelson had to do was say hello to this girl and maybe she would have noticed him and maybe she would have dated him and see Pandora saw a shoe in with that and she took it and when he was at the bar she decided to dance with him and he became the cool guy and I guess she tried to convince him like if you use this knife and you take out this guy you can get the girl but the knife took over and the knife was like okay you killed the dude in the elevator I want more blood and another thing I love about this season so far is how like all of these extra details and these things pertain to the story and how that knife was a part of Ichabod's past because one of his friends was killed by a ripper who had that knife and stabbed him with it. And that although we were introduced to two new characters, these characters did not get away, get in the way of the story at all. They just helped the story progress because then we realized, oh, okay, well, so this is how Ichabod knew about this knife and now Ichabod can give us more information rather than, oh, this person popped up in the story and they have absolutely nothing to do with it. Or they just end up in the way. But I cannot wait to learn a little bit more about that new character, the raven hair girl with the freckles. I don't know why I want to call her Rachel. I'm not sure if that's her name, but... I can't wait to see if she turns out to be another student from the school of Corbin. Like, did he take her under his wing as well? And what her connection is to this entire situation. Also, I can't wait to see Randall again because I like his character and I want to know 
how much more is there to the story of his connection to Jenny? Speaking of connections and relationships, I love how Joe Corbin is basically Jenny's partner and he's taken the place of Frank Irving but he wasn't just like stuck there or forced in there it's just like he popped up in episode two was just like I want to help out I want to work with you and he seems to be fitting in along with her fine also speaking of relationships Daniel Daniel still has feelings for Abby he's not gonna let it go and as he said in this episode, he wanted to work together with her, but I'm not going to count him out as far as trying to woo her or get her back, because clearly he had his pick of the litter of places where he could work, and for some strange reason he chooses Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, I don't see that as a coincidence at all. The battle sequence was awesome, and I love how... Ichabod turned the tables on Nelson and injected himself with that blood so when Nelson stabbed him and he thought that he won he didn't win. It could be is pretty much in game is gonna happen when I don't know but I'm still going to be watching and I'm waiting very patiently because despite all of the craziness and the drama that happened on the glades and has happened in the past and is happening on Haven if Nathan and Audrey could get together despite what's going on with the Troubles and Daniel and Callie could get together despite what happened with them all through the Glades, then Ichabod is definitely going to happen. And I cannot wait to see Ichabod take that test for his citizenship. And I also cannot wait to find out what is up with those black vines and those black roses that pandora is nurturing but thank you guys so much for tuning into this review don't forget to rate this video hit that subscribe button subscribe to my brand of crazy leave me some comments let me know what you thought about this episode this season so far and if you're ahead of me just leave me some spoilers i'm still gonna watch these episodes but just label it spoiler above for people who have not watched and also hit me up on google plus and twitter i am at sage valentine until next time the reviews keep on coming my next review of episode four will probably be tomorrow and then my review of episode five will probably be on halloween or on sunday all saints day but i will have my walking dead reviews done and then it's back to scream queen survivor Sleepy Hollow, and then Walking Dead again. So I love you guys. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>